All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you from my lovely balcony here in Yokosuka, Japan. And today I want to make a major announcement, and that is uh, my official uh, separation date from the United States Navy, and thus my flyout date, you know, my leave date of Japan. So I found out earlier this morning, uh, my official, you know, for realsies day that I'm going to be flying out of Japan and back to the States and, you know, getting out of the Navy and all that. And that is August 7th, 2015. So, um, the next couple weeks to, you know, a month or two are going to be pretty busy for the old Andy san So I'm just going to give you, you know, the down and dirty as far as, uh, you know, what's going to be happening. So, um, August 7th, I'm going to be flying out from Japan. I'm going to have my bags all packed, ready to go. I'm going to be heading back to the States. Um, to an outprocessing facility, uh, most likely in uh, Washington State or San Diego. Not sure which one just yet. And I'm going to be there for about a week to ten days doing the whole outprocessing thing. And uh, at the end of that, I'm going to fly back home to lovely Salina, Ohio. <laughs> and, you know, uh, from there, uh, I'm not going to stay very long, actually. Uh, it's going to be just a temporary stay until I can get my place lined up up in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan, where I'm going to uh, be attending school at Western Michigan University for uh, computer information systems, which is like a business meets computers degree. So, fun stuff. So, like I said, it's going to be pretty busy for the next couple weeks slash, you know, month or two. It's going to be a definite uh, culture change for the old Andy-san. You know, I've been out in Japan for... Uh, <clears throat> two years, two plus years actually. I came out here uh, Memorial Day, which is like late May of 2013. So June, July, August, it'll be like two years and three months-ish. Uh, I also wanted to um, talk to you guys about uh, something that's been coming up in the comments for both YouTube and uh, Facebook, and that is you know, something to the effect of, are you going to miss Japan? You know, are you going to come back to Japan? Are you going to come back to live in Japan? You know, something of the like. And to that, you know, at the time of this recording, I don't have any uh, definite plans to come back to Japan as of yet. I don't have anything lined up. But I definitely do want to come back to Japan. And of course I'm going to miss Japan. You know, I've, you know, living out here has been a dream come true for me. You know, visiting this this country and living in this country as well, um, and getting to meet so many wonderful people, you know, that I originally knew on YouTube, and get to meet them in person in real life, and uh, you know, people ranging from up and coming YouTubers to YouTubers that I've watched for years back when I was still living in the States. And, you know, getting to hang out with them and stuff, and it's just been, like I said, a dream come true. Nothing less. And, you know, of course I'm going to miss all that. But, you know, with the power of the internet, we're not really too far away, I guess. You know, there's always Facebook, there's always YouTube, of course. Unless they die off eventually, but who knows. But you guys know what I mean. We're always connected, even if we're thousands of miles away. Like... And I told my mom the news this morning, you know, I was, t I was calling her on the phone. We have this, you know, on, on Skype. And, uh, you know, she's thousands of miles away. So, you know, we're always connected by the great circle of the internet. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not going to be too far away. And, uh, yeah, so obviously I'm going to miss Japan. And I do want to come back. I don't have any plans to come back as of yet. But if I do decide to come back, you know, more than just like a holiday visit or something like that, I want to live in either the Kansai area, you know, that's Kobe, Kyoto, Osaka, that general facility, uh, vicinity, <laughs> or um, the Kyushu area, which is like Fukuoka and stuff like that. So um, both areas look great. Um, Personally, I'm kind of favoring uh, Fukuoka in the Kyushu area as a place to live because it's a lot like Kanagawa, which is the prefecture that Yokosuka is. You know, it's very much like a beach town, very, 
you know, ocean-centric, and what can I say? I love the water, so I joined the Navy instead of the Army. Well, <laughs> so, um, yeah, those would be the places that I want to um, live at if I were to come back to Japan on a uh, working basis. So, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's gonna be gonna be pr pretty busy for the old Andy San. Um, I'll keep you guys posted with further updates as I, you know, hear about them and things like that. But as far as videos go, I definitely want to uh, start recording as much as I can during the short time that I have left and uh, get them up if I can. But you know, considering the compressed time timeline, you know, that I have left in Japan, you know. The videos may not be released until after I'm back in the States. You know, it's just, it is what it is, but that's okay. Um, so, <laughs> in closing, I'm pretty nervous about the whole thing, especially considering it's 10 days away. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, but I'm also really excited, you know, like, obviously I'll miss Japan. Coming out to Japan has been a dream of mine since I was like five years old. And my cousins were out here. And, you know, my cousins and I were really close at that time. And for them to, you know, leave the country, to go to the other side of the world back in the early 90s, where we didn't have the internet, really. Not the internet that we know of today. It was like they pretty much, you know, went to the other side of the planet, basically. And they did, you know, literally. <laughs> but, you know, it was like they were on a whole different world. And, you know, I would always get, you know messages and stuff from them, you know, like actual, you know, letter mail back when that was a thing, and they would send me stuff, and it was just, it piqued my interest so much, and to 20 some odd years later be able to get a chance to live in, in the same area even as they did so many years ago has been nothing short of a dream come true. And, you know, I'm going to miss the area, I'm going to miss the, the people, you know, the locals, the people on my ship, people I've met, not only during my time in the Navy here in Yokosuka, but also, you know, even elsewhere, you know, just people I've met in the Navy in general, um, all my YouTube friends that I got to meet in real life out here, I'm going to miss them as well. And uh, it's going to be hard, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really a, you know, one of those mushy, touchy-feely types. I'm very, you know, kind of stoic, I guess. But, you know, this is, it's going to be hard for me. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, before I get even more rambly than I already have, better sign off. So, yeah, this is the Andy Sun. Signing off for now. Thinking you guys for tuning into this video and watching my other stuff and if you haven't already subscribed subscribe Shit. and uh, don't forget to like the videos the thumbs comment and uh, send a few friends to the party more than welcome and uh, as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye